Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. What's going on? How are you guys and girls doing? We are on part two of these uh, sub series of linking stuff to our project. So, this is about glue. All right, it's a library that is really important for us because, and by the way, it's called OpenGL Extension Wrangler Library. All right, glue. All right, I don't know if that stands for glue or whatever it is. Yes, it does. G L E W. What this does is it has a really important task. See, OpenGL isn't really an API in itself. It doesn't really, it has a bunch of stuff, you know, but the graphics card providers, your graphics card driver decides what functionali functionality, sorry, uh, you can use. All right, so the, the graphics card driver actually provides these functions. And OpenGL, you have to kind of link your OpenGL thingy, your program, to all of these functions that your graphics card driver provides. Now, if you have to do this one by one with function pointers, you know, uh, kind of OpenGL, think of it as a template, and your graphics driver actually implements these, these uh, functions just as OpenGL specifies, and then you have to link your program to all of these functions in the way OpenGL specifies. So you don't have to think about that too much. Just remember that this uh, library actually just links all of those functions for you so when you write something like GL uh, draw or whatever it will be that function GL draw that OpenGL specifies after using this library and in initializing it it will be linked to your graphics card drivers OpenGL draw that actual function to use alright so because what we're doing is we're talking to our graphics card when we're, when we're using OpenGL so we need some way to link all those functions to our program so we can write it in a in a way you would use an API. You can read about it more here, whatever usage, but basically that's what it is. Really important so we can get started with OpenGL functions. That's why you need to initialize this first before you start doing OpenGL stuff because we get access to modern OpenGL using this. Old OpenGL didn't have all these cool functions and wasn't as flexible. Now the new one is really flexible and nice with all different kinds of shaders and everything. So to use that we have to get this so just get it download it click here for windows if you want to build it yourself you have to do get the source files and then you can go check out this building page here but what we're going to do is just download this i already did what's going to happen then is that if we just put this down i have my thingy open from before remember watch the last video for glfw because i linked open gl then too in the uh, library thingy but nevertheless what we're going to be doing is close that we have our uh, glue right here so what you're going to get is you're going to get a folder glue 2.1.0 uh, just open that you'll get a lib and an include just like you did with the glfw and you're going to get a bin here and there's the dll we're going to be using all right and the library is in here lib 32 glue 32 so the S stands for static. We, remember, we're dynamically linking, so we're going to link this library. And then we're going to include the DLL from bin. And we have the include as well right here. So do the same thing. Create a new folder. Or go actually go into your project folder. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, into linking. GLFW is there. Okay, so we make a new one called glue. All right, glue. There we go. And create an include folder. Just like before, and a lib folder. Lib. All right, we're just going to do that. Now, this is, these are the includes. Just copy that into include. All right. Go into lib, release, Win32. Copy both of these. You don't have to. You can just copy the one you want, but I usually copy both. The 32 DLL, or the 32 lib. Uh, so you got that down and I copied the one from Win32 because we're developing for Windows 32 bit, not 64 bit. Uh, now go into your bin, release Win32, control C on the glue, 32.dll, go into where your main thingy is and just paste that right there. Boom. We're good. All right, we're good. Now you just close this. Everything is good. Right click YouTube tutorial, properties. And we'll start off by C++ in general. Just go in here. All right. Uh, copy this. Or no, don't. Actually, don't. That's not good for learning. Uh, YouTube tutorial. Linking. 
glue include select boom all right right there now just uh, remove this first part like before and add a solution there right there bam easy peasy i'm just going to copy the solution there thing bam apply and uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to linker general do the same thing here uh, add a new one linking tutorial linking glue remember don't mix those up don't mix glfw and glue up it's really easy to do uh, press lib select the lib folder and put solution there right there okay apply uh, and in input we want to do the same thing now remember i added opengl32.lib don't forget that now you want to add glue32.lib remember just like that and then okay and then apply so now we have glue included so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do include uh, let me see include glue why is this not working why are you not working, bro? My God, bro. Include. What the hell? Glue. Dot H. All right, right there. Boom. Now we want to include glue before GLFW. Remember that. You just want to do that. It's important. Don't forget. Do that. Now to see if that worked, we just want to do uh, glue experimental equals gl true just to test if glue in it not equal to glue okay then std c out oh my God, bad stuff happened whatever that's cool uh, and a new line I think if I can still program. All right, glue in it is not successful. Then we'll do this. Else, std. Oh my god, no. See out, not std. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can code. Oh my god. Okay, and a, a new line. I just like that. And then we're gonna do the run, and then it's gonna crash. But at least it linked properly. I think. I think it linked. Yes, it did link. It did link. Uh, what we have to do is we have to system pause. You don't have to do this, or you do. Actually, just do it. You actually do have to do this. All right. You actually do have to do this, bro. Just system pause it. Just see that. Oh my God, bad stuff happened. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no. Oh whoops. Ha ha ha. I think. No, why did that happen? Okay, well, I have to check that out later. But it should not. It should not. It should work. I'll have to check that out later. Whatever. Bad stuff happened. That was not good. Um, it should be. It should be okay. Still, whatever. Don't worry about that right now. We'll check that out a little later. All right? No worries. Uh, it's probably just something really small, like glue 32, I think. Something like that. I will have to check that out. Whatever. Guys and girls, that is linking glue. All right, that is linking glue. It should be fine. Again, don't worry. Uh, and we'll continue with the library called uh, GLM, the math library. Next video, all right? Take care, keep learning, and I'll see you guys later, all right? Bye-bye.